Assalamu alaikum dear student how are you all I hope you are fine and doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah welcome to NIEVS home school I'm Nasima Akhtar assistant teacher of science national idol English version school morning shift today I'm going to take an elementary science class for class 3 student dear student our today's topic is introduction to technology let's see our today's topic introduction to technology this is chapter 10 in your book and today we will read we have already discussed some topic from this chapter and today we will discuss about another part of this chapter and we will also discuss fill in the blanks true false and broad question answer of this chapter and this is lecture number seven and I will give you some SW our SW number will be seven student this is your science book and today we will discuss chapter 10 this is page number 63 we have already discussed this page now we will discuss from this page 67 page page number 67 let's start today's class student at first we will read this page then we will do some exercise of this chapter aeroplanes and helicopters also travel in air we can travel long distances in a short time through the air now people can travel to the moon through space shuttle you can see here is the aeroplane helicopter and this is space shuttle education educational technology can be traced back to the paintings on cave walls people invented paper and began to write down messages or knowledge is knowledge on paper after that people invented the printing press now we use educational technologies such as computers projectors internet videos and cameras for teaching and learning here is all educational materials here is computer here is a printing press now agriculture the first agricultural revolution began many years ago at that time people invented various agricultural tools such as the shovel spade sickle plow etc people use animals such as cows or horses to plow fields now we use a tractor or plow fields and irrigation pumps for watering land we also raise livestock such as cows sheep goats and chickens and farm fish for getting food you can see here is a farmer he is plowing with animal and here is a tractor and irrigation pump these all are used for agriculture dear student now we will do some exercise our first exercise is filling the blanks let's do it our one number filling the blanks is the plow is a technology used for what think about that what will be the answer the plow is a technology used for agriculture then we will write here agriculture and 
green agriculture then our next two number filling the blanks is the textbook is the technology used for what will be the answer think about that the textbook is a technology used for education so we will write here education next three number our three number in the blank is modes of transport can be classified into land water and what will be the answer and what and land water and air so we will write here air now we will do true false one number is telephone is a type of transport technology no this statement is not true so we will write here false then two number transport technology can here will be a space transport technology can be classified into five modes no we know three modes so this statement is also false then we will write here false dear student now we will discuss about broad question here is a one broad question the question is how does technology help us in transport answer will be people invented transport technologies in order to move from place to place and carry goods further and faster transport technologies can be classified into three modes one number land transport first one second one water transport and third one is air transport land transport at first the horse cart and cow carriage were invented after the invention of engine now we use train and car which makes the transportation faster and easier second point is water transport as for water transport people used to use rafts or boats to travel and carry goods after the invention of the engine cargo ships speed boats and ferries were developed these carry people and goods throughout the world third point is air transport aeroplanes and helicopters travel in air we can travel long distances in a short time through the air so that's it today student i have finished my today's topic now you have to do some sw your sw number is seven number is w when you will do your sw you have to write seven number is w in top of your copy your sw will be broad question here is a one broad question broad question answer here is a one broad question answer so you have to do your sw look at this here is a one broad question answer this is your sw i am repeat your sw your sw is seven number is w broad question answer one so dear student i hope you have understood today's topic keep practice at home and do your assign sw in your sw copy and submit your sw on every sunday from 8 am to 4 pm and you can submit your sw with the help of your guardian or anyone can submit your sw in our school so dear student you are uh, we 
we will give you some marks based on your SW. You will get 2.5 marks for each SW. So this is very important for you. I hope you will do your SW properly and submit that. And dear student, stay home and safe. See you again in our next class. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you.